Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're going to be doing a Vietnamese dessert, one of many actually. So the next couple weeks we're going to be doing a lot of Vietnamese desserts now that I have an in spot. <laughs> and it is so convenient. It takes cooking time from hours to minutes and so I'm super super excited. Today we're going to be making um, a Vietnamese rice pudding with coconut milk. Um, so super easy. I'll show you how to do it with the Instapot and then um, down in the description box I'll show you if you don't have an Instapot how you can just do it with a pot on the stove too. So this is just going to cut your cooking time down by a fraction of it so it makes it like super easy and convenient um but otherwise you can still do it um what we're going to need is um sweet rice we'll need some black eyed peas if you have pandan leaves this adds a little bit of like essence to it but if you don't and if you can't find it it's totally fine too without it i actually ended up buying the frozen kind because we can't find fresh ones here. Can't find anything here in Texas. <laughs> and then for the coconut topping, we're just going to need coconut milk, tapioca starch here, some sugar, and vanilla extract. Now a lot of people I know that make this particular dessert, they use vanilla sugar. And you can totally use that too. I don't particularly know what the measurements for that is because it's they usually just throw a whole packet in or something like that but i'll show you what i do now and with this cool little supply ah! okay but yeah so super easy we just gotta wash the rice wash the um the peas then we'll put everything in here let it cook um pressure cook for about seven minutes that's all it takes and then we'll work on the the coconut milk topping and by the time that's done it's probably gonna be done and then we're good for a dessert let's get started guys alrighty guys so we're gonna go ahead and this has already been washed so we're gonna go ahead and get this in the box and this is um sweet like sweet rice okay I'll try to find a link to it down below a lot of the ones that you know um, are kind of hard to find or not commonly found. I try to find it, and if you can um, look for the link in the description box. So this is the sweet rice. Okay. This is about a cup and a half of sweet rice. We're gonna do half a cup of the um, the black eyed peas. If you get the canned one that's already cooked, um, I don't know how to cook with that. But I do three parts rice, one part of the um, the black eyed peas so that it's not too overpowering. And then we're gonna put in our pandan leaves. And these are washed as well. Everything gets washed very carefully first before you put it in the pot, okay? <laughs> and then you wanna put about six, I'm gonna say six and a little under a half a cup of water into the pot. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. Pop this lid on. Make sure that it's sealed. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna go ahead and press that pressure cook. If I can find it. Here we go. 
and your pressure cook. We're gonna set it to about 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it go. Wait for it to beep. Perfect. And there it goes. It's perfect. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and open up two cans of um, coconut milk. <laughs> okay, so now that we have a baker pot, we're going to go ahead and add in three quarter cups of water, um, one tablespoon of the tapioca starch. Okay, we're going to add in about three quarter cups of sugar. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of salt and this is before we turn on the heat we're gonna go ahead and stir to dissolve make sure that the tapioca starch is fully dissolved inside the, the mixture first As soon as it is done, as soon as you've gotten all the lumps and everything out of it, we can go ahead and turn on the sauce. Alrighty guys, so for the sauce on this side, you don't want to bring the coconut milk to a full boil. You just want to make sure that the, uh, the tapioca starch is fully cooked. So once you start seeing it kind of bubble just a little bit, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the heat. You'll notice that the consistency is not too thick but it's not too thin either. It just gently coats the back of your spoon. Alrighty guys, so I opened the lid and I gave it a good mix and this is what you get. Oh, everything is fully cooked and ready to eat. Yay! Okay, and then I'll show you how to, um, to serve it. And this can be served either hot or cold. So we're gonna serve it hot because it's hot right now, but tomorrow it's gonna be cold. Yay! Okay, so it is pretty late. Um, I'm probably not gonna serve my husband a lot. I'm just gonna use a small thing so he has a nice taste of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the rice pudding at the bottom. like this and then we're gonna put that coconut milk if you remember it's right here and that consistency it's just gonna coat that back of your spoon just like that okay and we're just gonna put that on top and there we go <laughs> what is that? It's a. Um, First time I've tried this, by the way. <laughs> it's a rice pudding, mm -hmm. and it has a black eyed peas, and then the top is coconut milk. Mm. Coconut milk blends perfectly, it gives it like that perfect sweetness. The bottom is very. Um, light in flavor. <laughs> <laughs> subtle. But it's a subtle. There you go. Coconut milk goes really well with it, though. Thank you. It's really good. You're welcome. Mmm. I'm probably gonna throw it too. 
<laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It was really good. Enjoy. And see you in the next one. <laughs>